This is a standard millivolt thermal pile. I'm going to show you how to identify it in your fireplace. This is a pilot assembly that has both a thermal pile and a thermal couple. I'm going to show you the difference. The thermal pile is bigger and thicker, and it has a wire. The wire has two leads at the end that attach to the gas control valve. The thermal couple is thinner and it has a pointed end. It has a copper wire that screws into the gas valve. That's the way to spot the difference between a thermal couple and a thermal pile. Not all fireplaces have both. Some just have the thermal pile and some just have the thermal couple. Before you test a thermal pile, you want to make sure the pilot is a strong blue flame and the thermal pile is clean from buildup. Since the thermal pile gets voltage from the heat of the flame, if the pilot is weak or the thermal pile has buildup, it can cause low readings. You can clean the thermal pile with sand cloth or sandpaper. If the pilot flame is lazy, you will need to clean out the pilot hood by vacuuming it out or taking it apart. The voltmeter will need to be set to DC volts. It will not read if set to AC volts. The symbol for DC volts is a long line and three dots or lines underneath. This is an example of a SIT gas valve. The thermal pile attaches to the THTP and TP terminals, and this is where we will put the probes. This is an example of a Dexin or Robert Shaw gas valve. The thermal pile attaches to the THTP and the TP terminals, and this is where we will put the probes. Have the pilot on for about two minutes to warm up the thermal pile. Make sure the unit on off switch, wall switch, wall thermostat or remote is in the off position. To test the thermal pile voltage, place the voltmeter probes on the TP and THTP terminals. For the system to operate consistently, the voltage should be a minimum 325 millivolts or 0.325 of a volt with the main burner off. In this case, the fireplace reads 446 millivolts, which is a good reading. If you turn the main burner on, the voltage should be a minimum of 110 millivolts to operate consistently. In this case, it is about 214 millivolts with the burner on, which is a good reading. If the readings on the fireplace are lower, you probably need to change your thermal pile. For more troubleshooting tips, check out fire-parts.com or go to our YouTube channel.